was just a fluke, or both. Going on the wrong resolution again. <laughs> you or her, we'll find out. No, I'm right. Okay. Can't believe Melissa left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll bring in the other one, and then you guys can have one next week. Here it comes, here it comes. I wouldn't lean too much, you don't want to... I just want to, I want to uh, get my elbows on the table. Okay. So hold on to the chrysalis shell, but they're not always that coordinated. And it's kind of cool because even as they're coming out, their their feet are holding onto it as they come out of there. The first thing they do is start moving their mouth parts and their proboscis and stuff too. He'll look like he's gonna fall and he won't. I bet sometimes they do though. Probably. Every time I see it, I think they're gonna crash, but they, I've never seen it. Oh, cool. Look, you can see the, the transparent crystals. Mm -hmm. Ooh, there's his butt. It's my highly technical science term. Butterfly butt. <laughs> you see how big that abdomen is? That's where all the liquid is that's going to get pumped in those wings. Yeah, you're right. His belly is huge. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's deformed when they first come out of there. Mm -hmm. and the wings are so tiny. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a paper airplane. Yeah. Yeah, actually. I see the proboscis unwinding. Mm -hmm. so they test up. everything and make sure everything works. There it goes. <laughs> Tell them about the dots. No. The dots on the chrysalis, the gold dots. No, there's dots on on the wings on the the when the wings are flat, you can look on the edges and there'll be a dot, and you can tell if it's male or female. Hmm. If if they have it, they're uh, is it that they have it? They're males, I think. I can't remember. I can no, tell I by looking at their apparatus. <laughs> you told them all about the migration and everything. Mm -hmm. too. Yeah. If I'd been smart, I would have gotten some pictures of it ahead of time, but I wasn't and I didn't. Is it coming out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just, just came out. Oh, I missed it. I have video, though. Okay. Are you sure? This actually isn't the one you were looking at earlier. My daughter brought in another one. The oh. other one came out. Um, it's right here. Yeah, it's right there, and it came out while I was on the phone. <laughs> oh. You see the abdomen pumping, Russell? You watch, she'll do it again. See how it's getting skinny at the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. How long did it take for it to come out? 30 seconds. Oh, it's not very long. It's so big. Yeah, it's amazing all that fit in there, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I can totally see it. Cool beyond belief. Yeah. I will try to get, uh, figure out how to, if I can't, Upload it to the wiki, I can put a link. Maybe they need to survive in nature and figure how defenseless they are at this point. Yeah, can't, can't fly. fly. Can't walk anywhere. She's still fooling around with that proboscis, too. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that. You know what? My home button is like actually a button, so you have to really push it to make the app close. 
I might have run out of time. How big's your hard drive? I put it on my SD card. I mean, run out of time in terms of, you know, the phone wanted to go to sleep. Oh, I see. So I was keeping my finger here, but I let it drift over there, and yeah. Well, applications on the iPhone, there's actually like a thing that the programmers have access to where you can flip this switch, basically, this virtual switch, and it won't shut off. So certain applications that are sensitive like this that don't have touch input, it turns off like screen dimming and auto lock and stuff like that. Well, I know I could have set it so it didn't, but I didn't think of it. Duh. Right, but like this just does it automatically. Like the camera will never close if you just walk away and leave it open. I wish I could have done this with my camera. <laughs> starting to look like something now. Yeah. It doesn't take too long and then they'll start moving a little bit, shaking them out. She's done a lot with her proboscis, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Antennae look so long compared to how long the wings are so far. Mm -hmm. they but they're, they're still yeah. huge compared to what they were when they first came out. Mm -hmm. I didn't think that was all stuffed inside that little chrysalis. It doesn't look at all like a larva. Mm -hmm. She always turns away from me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they know. <laughs> <laughs> Circling. We well, apparently fed them nutritious milkweed, Laura. Mm. It's amazing how much they eat. Takes a lot of energy. Yep. They get picky too. They only want the leaves up at the top. Tender, juicy. Yeah, I think so. I think that's what it is. They don't have to chew as hard. Yeah. When they're bigger, they're less discriminant. They'll eat the stems, too. But. Anything that faintly resembles food. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to back off on this now, Russell. You can get in there if you want on that side. I think that's good enough. I think, I think he's done for a while. Oh, come on. Isn't it? Oh, I forgot you guys have to see that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the wings on the fold more, but it usually takes a little bit of time for it. Obviously, because it's going to have.